Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem based on Euler's theorem on homogeneous function. The function given is u, which is made up of two parts. One is x cube y cube z cube by x cube plus y cube plus z cube, and other is log of x y plus y z plus z x by x square plus y square plus z square. These two terms having different degree. So let's take the function separately as v and w let v equal to the first function x cube y cube z cube whole divided by x cube plus y cube plus z cube then another function w is log of x y plus y z plus zx whole divided by x square plus y square plus z square. Now we will rewrite this as v of x comma y comma z because the function is in terms of x y and z. In the same way the another function w is also w of x comma y comma z. Now to check whether it is a homogeneous function or not and to find the degree we have to replace x as tx, ty, tz in both the function. Let's start with the function b. So here it is going to be tx whole cube, ty whole cube, then tz whole cube whole divided by tx whole cube plus ty whole cube plus tz whole cube. Now numerator will become t cube x cube into t cube y cube into t cube z cube whole divided by t cube x cube plus t cube y cube plus t cube z cube. We can take t cube common sorry we will multiply all the t cube together since bases are same we will add the power. So we will take t and add the powers here 3 plus 3 plus 3. And the remaining terms are x cube, y cube, z cube. In the same way, denominator will take t cube common. We left with x cube plus y cube plus z cube. Now, numerator is t power 9. Denominator is t power 3. Rest of the term is nothing but our original function v of x comma y comma z. After cancelling this we get t power 6 into v of x comma y comma z. From this it is clear that it is a homogeneous function of degree n equal to 6. In the same way we have to continue for the another function w. So w of tx comma ty comma tz is nothing but log of bracket open xy so tx ty plus yz so ty tz plus zx tz and tx whole divided by x square so tx whole square plus y square ty whole square plus tz whole square then bracket close then from this log of in every term there is t square which can be taken out common so we get xy plus yz plus zx 
whole divided by then here also denominator we can take t square common so we get x square plus y square plus z square then we can cancel this t square since there is no t term outside we will put it as t power 0 and the rest of the term is nothing but w of x comma y comma z from this it is clear that it is a homogeneous function of degree n equal to 0. Now we are going to use Euler's theorem. We are going to apply Euler's theorem for both the function v and w. By applying the Euler's theorem for the function v, we get x into dou v by dou x plus y into dou v by dou y plus z into dou v by dou z equal to n into v and for the function v we found the value of n as 6 we are going to substitute here so we get x into dou v by dou x plus y into dou v by dou y plus z into dou v by dou z equal to 6v. Let's take this as first expression. In the same way, we are going to apply the Euler's theorem for the another function w. x into dou w by dou x plus y into dou w by dou y plus z into dou w by dou z equal to n into w. Here, the value of n is 0. We found the degree of the function w is 0. By substituting n as 0, we get x into dou w by dou x plus y into dou w by dou y plus z into dou w by dou z equal to 0 into w, 0. Let's take this as the second expression. Now, we are going to add 1 and 2. While adding, we can group the like terms. So, from these two, it is possible to take x common. By taking x common, we get x into dou v by dou x plus dou w by dou x. Similarly, it is possible to take y common from these two, from this as well as from this. By taking y common, we get plus y bracket open dou v by dou y plus dou w by dou y. In the same way, from the third term, it is possible to take z common from these two. By taking z common, we left with dou v by dou z plus dou w by dou z. And on the other side, one term having 6v, another is 0. So, by adding, we get 6v. Now, from the question u, we named two functions as v and w separately. If I differentiate this, with respect to, partially with respect to x, we get dou u by dou x. It is nothing but dou u by dou x, sorry, dou v by dou x plus dou w by dou x. In the same way, if I do partial derivative with respect to y, so dou u by dou y is nothing but dou v by dou y plus dou w by dou y. In the same way with respect to z if I do dou u by dou z equal to dou v by dou z plus dou w by dou z. So, in these three places we are going to substitute. In these three places we are going to substitute these three values. That is, one is dou u by dou x, another is dou u by dou y, and then dou u by dou z. So, we are going to substitute in these three places 
we get x into dou u by dou x. So therefore, x into dou u by dou x plus second term y into this. Now this is dou u by dou y because dou v by dou y plus dou w by dou y is dou u by dou y. So plus y into dou u by dou y plus z into dou u by dou z and on the other side we have 6v. We are going to replace the v. So x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou v by sorry dou u by dou y plus z into dou u by dou z equal to 6 into our function v is x cube y cube z cube whole divided by x cube plus y cube plus z cube. So the question it is given x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou u by dou y plus z into dou u by dou z equal to 6 into this which we proved here using the Euler's theorem.